It's been a year since a 12-year-old girl was shot and killed inside her Lynchburg home. And now a grand jury has indicted her mother and brother in connection with her death. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksteimer spoke to police about the investigation. Investigators say they've been following this case ever since Malaysia Solomon was shot and killed inside her home last year. Now they say the longest parts of this investigation has been the process of searching through cell phone records and asking social media companies for evidence. 12 year old Malaysia Solomon was shot and killed last February while inside her home, but it wasn't until this month when both Malaysia's brother and her mom, Karita Winston, were indicted by a grand jury. 10 News has decided not to name the brother since he's under 18. And while we understand that people want immediate um, charges brought forth and somebody to be to help be held accountable, sometimes it's more responsible for us to step back and make sure that we we do the right thing. Another search warrant obtained by 10 News shows Malaysia's brother had DNA collected by police to try and match it to the DNA found on the weapon that killed Malaysia. He has since been indicted by a grand jury for involuntary manslaughter. Sometimes with our more um, delicate th things where there's people involved in, in interpretation and stuff like that, sometimes it's easier for us to present it to the grand jury um, and then they can decide what is appropriate. Lynchburg police tell us investigations like this take time especially when social media is involved. Check telephones, uh, social media. Winston is facing three felonies, including child endangerment and child abuse or neglect. Both Malaysia's mother and brother are being held without bond. In Lynchburg, I'm Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.